Hey guys, your boy DeAnthony. Now, I just got through watching Orange is the New Black. Now, I already have issues with the name anyway, whatever. But, or when it first came out, I was excited. I'm excited to watch it like, yeah, it's my show, boy. Because I like season one, two, and three. But, when I started watching it, it was kind of like, ah, it's kind of slow. What's going on? Nothing really going on here. And I wasn't really feeling it, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't feeling it. So, what I did was, I stopped. <laughs> I, honestly, I stopped, moved on to some other stuff, said I would come back to it, or, or not. Maybe it's just one of those things, you just stop watching it, you know, after a while. Um, but, I had some company, and they wanted to watch it, so we was re-watching all the, the episodes, like from 1 through 5, and I found out that I, I've seen most of them. I saw, like, up to 5. So I like I was like you know what let me just continue watching as I continue watching I'm like man it's kind of slow it's still slow you know there's really no reason to continue watching that's the thing there's no real story arc going on like seasons one two and three they had a continuous story arc that was going on and this was just kind of like day to day kind of thing you know kind of like oh this is what happened today and then now we're done and now the tomorrow is something totally new but we did get a new character well i guess she was in season three too but i don't know her name but the lady from free willy i don't know if you guys even remember or even noticed her but that's the lady from free willy that was training the kid how to teach willy how to do stuff that's her she didn't age too well didn't age too well so like i said this one doesn't have a lot of of like stuff like story arc to tell it's like a bunch of little stories until like kind of the end but let's just go with you know some of the things I like so I like the show I, I'm on we on season four now I like it because it's a depiction of people that are in jail but in jail for reasons that are like circumstance you know or happenstance there's a lot of context around why they're in there and it's not just they just some bad people doing some messed up stuff. It's, you know, they just got caught up. You know, they got caught up in the, in the society, in, the, in their, you know, environment. You know, it's, it's about people are doing bad things. They get second chances. And I like that. Because I might need a second chance one day. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate that. And it's not, it's not like Oz. Oz way over the top. Oz be raping people and beating up people. And I'm like, whoa, 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 Oz. Oz, what is happening? I don't need to see this. Let that stay in jail. I'm going to be free and live like regular people. What they doing up in, in Oz, way over the top. Can't even watch it. Can't even watch it. I don't even like that dude from uh, the Nationwide commercials no more because of him. He's up in there raping everybody. So I'm good. <laughs> but anyway, back to Orange is the New Black. You know, so I, I like that. I like that, you know, it's just people just... Bonding, you know, it's not a lot of hate in there. There's some, you know, racism a little bit. You know, well, this season is a whole lot, but we're going to get to that later. But it's not a lot, you know, as far as, like, overall, you know, they all interact with each other. You know, um, some characters that I like, I like Red, for sure. I like Suzanne, Nikki. I kind of like Pusey a little bit. Pusey kind of cool. I like Tasty for sure. She's one of the most uh, charismatic characters on there. Um, just seeing her progress, seeing that, you know, she really did need to be in there. She's a pretty smart cat. And a lot of people in jail are pretty smart. They just ended up making bad decisions. So I feel like she represents a lot of the people who are in jail. I like Gloria, the lady that's, you know, head of the kitchen now. And I kind of like Alex. She kind of cool a little bit. I don't know. She got like a kind of a, I don't know, nonchalant attitude I kind of like, you know, but... And honest, but honestly, I'm going to be real. I don't really like Piper. I think Piper's time is up and I know that the story is being told by the you know eyes of you know the producer or whatever and her time in jail I guess or whatever so Piper I guess got to be there because she's the one telling the story but I feel like they need to write her some some better plots you know she's she's just to me she's useless and honestly the fact that she don't ever want to go to any of the awards that they win I don't appreciate that. To me, it seemed like she's just not a part of the whole thing. Like, she's, yes, that's y'all show. I'm just there getting paid, doing my thing, but we ain't really together. You know, like, I don't like that. You know, we all there getting awards. Yo ass need to be there getting awards. Whether or not you the one getting the award or not. 
support your people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen you before before this show. So you might as well go ahead and support. But honestly, I think she can just go ahead and get up off. She's the least interesting person on the whole show. To me. So as you know, last season, Piper got her little side business doing sank panties. Okay. So now they carry that back over to this year or this season and now she got a little competition from the Latinos. Now, to me this show was mostly geared towards African Americans and Latinos. The the European uh character is not really too interesting too much unless they're like, you know, from Russia or something like that. Then they kind of like red, I like red my girl right there. She she ain't playing, you know what I'm saying? So, so anyway, so the, the Latinos try to like take over or to be her competition, and she don't like that. So, she gonna form anti-gang uh, group. Well, of course, and they all believe the white girl that they're the anti, that she's the anti-gang, you know. So now they start frisking all the Latino and black girls out of nowhere for no reason. And then, and they got them all lined up. And as soon as the white person comes, they be like, all right, you can go. I'm like, what the heck? Now, I know this is what's happened. And probably it's what happened in jail. But I feel like, I don't know. I feel like they don't, we don't need to see it like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the show can show us a better side. You know what I'm saying? But they don't. So, whatever. So, so then they get all, they, they, they make sure all the, the uh, Latinos and Africans, not African Americans, not doing nothing, but they let the white folks run rampant. So then, from their little anti-gang crew, you get white power. It starts off with white lives matter too, and then all of a sudden we get the white power. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now. To Piper's defense, she wasn't really about that. She ends up telling her, like, when she's upsetting up the Latino girl, with, and she puts panties and stuff underneath her bed, and they check her bed, they, they get the Latino girl. So now, so now the Latino girl, she get another three to five years put on her sentence. Like, whoa, now you playing a dangerous game, yo. You done put more, more years on my sentence, yo? I'm trying to get out and see my kid. All I'm doing is trying to make a little bit of money. It's selling panties. So, I, but, so from selling panties, I get three to five years. So now that she's pissed off, and now the Latinos are like a real gang for real. And now Piper, and they got Piper back. They put a, a swastika on, on her arm. I'd have put it on her hand, you know what I'm saying? But I guess if it's on her hand, they gonna ask who did it. They they branded her with a swastika on, on her hand, on her arm. I'd have put it on the hand though, but because if you gonna be the leader of the white power, you gonna have to go ahead and, and represent. I guess I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. So. I didn't feel bad. I don't know. You know, you got you put three to five more years on my sentence. You got to get a swastika, I guess. So that's pretty much the only real story arc there is in the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And it just kind of becomes a white versus black, Latino versus white type of thing. So then we got the blacks and Latinos. They go up. They you know form a um, a pack to go against the white girls because. They trip. So, just a few things I like that, you know, was kind of funny to me in the whole whole show. So, the, you know, the Holy Roller, you know, I forget her name, but the Holy Roller that was always trying to preach about the gospel and stuff like that. She's talking to the the big dyke, the fat dyke, I don't, I don't know her character name, but uh, she's in, talking to her dyke friend. And friend is fixing a, uh, fixing a, fixing a big old tractor. You know, they get, they, get, they get a tractor in there, and it breaks down, and they're like, can you fix it? She's like, yeah. So she up under the hood trying to fix the tractor, and the girl is like, what is this, some type of lesbian superpower where you can fix machines as big as this? And I was dying laughing. Because <laughs> it was a real question. It's not like, because she a little off, you know what I'm saying? So when she asks questions, she be really serious, even though it seems serious and funny to me. She like, is this what y'all get to do as lesbians? You know, because she's like all anti, you know, uh, homosexuality or whatever. You know, this is an offensive. This is an offensive show. So some of the things I might say might be offensive, but this is an offensive show, honestly. So I'm gonna just talk about. It. So one of the things that was kind of like heartbreaking, you know, because I don't like people who like to break people's dreams. You know what I'm saying? You know, the the mom, the one of the Latino moms, is getting out, and her daughter is in there, and she's like, man. I'm about to get out, but I got these dreams. My own 
beauty shop or whatever and I'm gonna do like nails and stuff like that and then the daughter was like nails you got what you how you gonna get nails you gotta take you gotta get a license you gotta get someone to put up money for a shop you 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 dreaming right now and the mom got so sad because she's doing this because her daughter is the reason why she wants to be a better person so then when she's talking to her daughter her daughter is like what that's dumb it really hurt her feelings, and I was like, man, I, I hate when people try to kill other people's dreams, you know? Like, let me at least have a dream. Can I at least dream it? And then once, you know, let me come to the reality of the things that I need. Let me come to the reality I need a license. I need a, a, a loan to be able to get a, my own uh, beauty salon. Like, let me do that. You just be happy for me. You just encourage me. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes all people need just encouragement. Oh, so then they got a celebrity that's in there that's like Martha Stewart. You know, she, she cooks. And she ended up having to go to jail. And there's always this balance with her trying to, you know, does she, is she racist? Is she not racist? You know, and we don't really know. So then what happens is, what happens is they kind of, they have a conversation. She's having a conversation with um, Pusey. And she's like, you know what? I don't know if I'm a racist. You know, it was, you know, the 80s, we did some super stuff, because she had some show about, you know, some stereotypical puppets called, like, Watermelon John, Watermelon John and all that. You know, and she was like, I don't know if I'm racist. I was doing some crazy stuff. We made some bad decisions in the 80s, you know, but... If I am a racist, I'm the, I'm the nicest racist you ever gonna meet. And you know, I was like, you know what? You know what? I can appreciate that. You know, let me, let me, if you, if that's who you are, just say it. And and you can just be that, you know. If you want to, if you just racist sometimes, hey, do your thing. That lets me know how to make my moves. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather you be straight up with me than for you to say you my friend and stab me in the back. Cause then I don't know how to make a move. I'm making a move as if you my friend. But if you tell me you a racist, well then I can just make my moves accordingly. And it's not a big deal. So I kind of like that. Just just be honest. You like you know what? Maybe I am. That's how I was. That's how I was raised. But I'm still a nice person. I'm not trying to be racist. I will still help out people. But I might say some stuff that's off the wall. I think everyone does that. So I kind of appreciated that. But then Martha Stewart, the Martha Stewart character, she gets in some type of uh, kind of like a, a fake relationship with a black a, a black girl, and they end up kissing. And the black girl. When they kiss and she's looking at the picture because they took a picture. It was like a paparazzi thing inside of jail, and they took they took a picture and then they was the black the black girl was like, "Man, my mom is gonna see me kissing a white woman." <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I guess you you have to see it. I guess. So like I said, this is a very racist show. I'm just gonna be honest. It's a racist show, um, especially towards the end. After you get to like episode seven, it get real racist real quick and it was very offensive to me with some of the things that they were doing and that was and they were okay with like I was cool with Caputo like Caputo seemed like a good guy he seemed like somebody you might want to be friends with he just doing his job as the warden but the mom or the the wife of the transvestite or transgender whatever you want to call it uh that's in jail she knocks on the on the man door because they put her in the shoe or in isolation, and they want to know why. And no one, everyone's giving her a runaround. So the wife knocks on the door like, "Yo, what's going on? I know you in there." And Caputo's girlfriend's up in there. She she pissed off. She she offended that you even came to the door for this silliness. So I'm like, to my mind, my mind, I'm like, well, what? What's the big deal? Because that's what I would do if my wife is in isolation and nobody telling me she's going crazy. I need to know. That's an injustice. So his girlfriend, which Caputo is white, his girlfriend is also white. She come out the house. He Caputo say, "Go indoors. Go inside. I got this." He was gonna talk to the lady reasonably, and this is what I'm saying. I, I kind of did like Caputo. So, but then the girl come out with a gun and she say, "Back up." Or I'm going to shoot you. Get in your car or I'm going to shoot you. She going to shoot this black lady because she trying to find out about her 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 husband or wife or whatever you want to call it. But someone that she loved. So because I want to find out about someone that I love, you going to shoot me? 
And then she gonna shoot the other the, the 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 black man that was with her too, all right on the porch. She had no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? And then, and I thought Caputo was gonna break up with her. You know what Caputo said though? Caputo was like, "Man, I love you. That was so sexy. Like, are you serious right now, Caputo? It was so sexy, really? Is that what it was? So, do you think that someone should get shot?" Just inquiring about, you know, an, an injustice? That kind of pissed me off because that was like that Trayvon Martin stuff. You're going to just shoot me out of nowhere and you think, because you think you right. Tomorrow you coming to my door harassing me. I'm just trying to find out some information. You act like it's 2 in the morning. I'm busting down, I'm breaking uh, bricks through your wall, or through your window. I didn't like that. that. That bothered me a lot. That's what I'm saying. This show got real racist real quick. And it offended me because I'm a black man. Anyone can just decide to shoot me. I, no. Am I a criminal? No. But a lot of people are not criminals that get shot. And it's the it's the the fact that you don't value my life, which is why the Black Lives Matter even exists, because you guys act like our lives don't matter. You would just shoot me just because I'm trying to inquire. She wasn't angry about it or anything like that. She wasn't threatening. The man, her boyfriend, was in the car. He wasn't even. He wasn't even outside, so he's not a threat. But you still gonna shoot me right in my face, point blank, because I'm bothering you. Really? Would you shoot anybody that looked like you like that? Probably not. So there's an incident that happens in the kitchen where a white guard kills a black inmate. And it's over. It's over a peaceful protest that was happening. That was that they were having because it was so much injustice that was happening with the Latinos and the blacks. And they was tired of the guards treating them that way. So they was like, "Yo, we gonna have a peaceful protest." They got up on the actual tables and said, "I'm not gonna move until this man is fired because the head of the guard is he, he wilding out. He crazy and he racist and he tell you." And my thing is, how you racist and you gay? Supposedly you a minority. Not that that's the same thing. They're the same, you know, type of issues. But y'all like to claim that it is. So how you gonna be that? But anyway, I digress. So he ends up killing. He ends up killing Puse. If you haven't seen it by now, I don't know. It's been out like three three months or something like that. So he ends up killing Puse and. He's on. He has a. He, you know. Now he didn't mean to do it. He was one of the good guards, but that's the thing, though. We don't know who good and who not. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been getting abused all this time. And all of a sudden, there's another. It's an inmate turn up dead. Like yo, there gotta be some changes. So he ends up killing her, and the, they end up taking the guard home. They take the guard home, and he was with another a fellow a fellow coworker taking they taking. He was taking him home, and he was telling him that don't worry about it. You gonna, you know, these nightmares are gonna come. You know, you're still a good person. I'm a good person. He was like, I don't know if this is gonna help you or not, but when I was in Ag Afghanistan, I killed innocent people. And the dude was like, what? Why? And he was like, cause you just get so angry trying to find the real enemy, but you don't ever find them. So then you just go killing whoever you can see, whoever you can find. <sighs> What? These are actual people. So what that you at war with them? You at war with their military, not the actual color of their skin, man. That's that's the issue. And I don't honestly I don't mind there being racist things in TV shows because it's reality. And for some people, if you can make me upset, then it was a good plot point. For me, that's not the case. I don't want to get upset. I don't want to have to think that that put my shoes in that person's, or put my uh, my feet in that person's shoes because I could have been the one on the ground, choked out, dead. That that's not a good feeling. It's not a oh, you know, it was just a good 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 writing. It's that feeling is like reality. That's a that's a possibility for me. So yes. It's offensive to me. I don't. I don't necessarily want to see it. 
and it was a very, very hard, that was the last episode. It was a very, very hard episode to watch because they showed you like how beautiful of a person she was. How, you know, humane she was and how open she was and how much she wanted, you know, she had the zest for life. She had a beautiful smile, you know, so she, they were showing you that. And then they, you know, and then they showing you her dead body in the kitchen because they didn't move. They didn't even move the body. They wanted, to, they wanted to get their ducks in a row. They wanted to get their story together before they call the parents, before they call the police, and before they move that body. And I'm like, yo, this is just disrespectful. But you know what? That is what would happen because it's someone that they, they, they see it as, you know what? It's just a black person. It don't really matter. So let us just get our ducks in a row. So that we don't get in trouble over just a black person. You know what I'm saying? And that's to me, that's, that ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, I don't know what I would give the show. I can't really tell you what I would give the show. But, that's for one, there's no real um, ongoing plot points. There's no, like, story that is developing. It's just a day-to-day. -day. This today is this episode. Today, the, tomorrow is this episode. The day after that is that episode. You know, so it's not. It doesn't. It's nothing to keep me watching it. Besides, just what's going to happen. I want to do this review because I already, I already went through five in a row. Might as well continue. And you know, it just, it didn't really like captivate me. And then at the end, the last like five episodes, it was offensive. It was a lot of stuff that was going on that. You know, I know that would definitely be going on in jail, and it just bothered me. You know, because even though I might have done something wrong, everybody done something wrong. It's just you just didn't get caught. Don't try to act like everybody, that this, this people that are just above others. Everybody did something wrong. It's just that some people get second chances and some people don't. So it's like some people got a reset button and some people don't. Some people got a save button. And some people don't. You just gotta start all over with less lies than what you had. That's what that's what it's like to be a uh, black or a Latino in here, and that that doesn't it has a mistake. It's like, uh, start all over with less lies than what you had, with less resources than you had. But when you're European, you possibly get another you get another chance. Oh, let's not put him in jail. I know he raped this girl, but. Jail gonna be too tough for him. What? If anybody should go to jail for any reason, it would be rape. You're going to jail. But no. But let a black person even be considered raping somebody. He underneath the jail. He get burnt up. He get blew up. You don't even know what happens to the black people that do stuff that seem to be so bad. The, the man... I'm just, I know that's going off tangent, but I'm just saying what this meant or what it represented. And I feel like this is what would probably represent it for a lot of, at least conscious black people, that this is not just a story. This is a possibility, you know? So, anyway, I, I don't know. I'll probably give it probably like a six. This season, just I, I just wasn't feel it, feeling it. I would probably watch the next season again. I would try. I would try. I probably if it's if it's not good, not captivating, then I would probably go ahead and just go ahead and chuck it and not even watch it no more, uh, especially if it's gonna be offensive like that. And then, like I said, Piper, sorry, but you're just not you're not interesting to me. Nothing interesting about you. Pretending to be a gangster is not intriguing. Like it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't intrigue me. Um. So they can really miss me with that plot. Um. Yeah, I mean, I would probably give it about a six, though. I, I, I just because I, I did when it was getting real racist, you know, I did kind of want to see where it was going to go, where they were going to take, how far they were going to take it, you know, because that that big buff dude, the, the head of the guard, man, he was getting real, he was getting irritating to me, you know. So it kind of did kind of make me want to see it. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm gonna give it a six. No plot, there's no um, no no real plot points. Um, there's nothing to really intrigue me, and it was very offensive. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it, you know. So I'm, if I offended you guys about the review, it's I'm just reviewing what they gave me. So I apologize if anyone got offended by some of the words I said, but that's reality. 
that's my reality anyway. So, you know, I'm DeAnthony. That's my review, Orange is the New Black. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe. Also, check out our other videos on Break Room Blitz. Um, we need a lot of support. We try to do these uh, skits for you guys. So, at least let us know you guys like the skits. You know, say LOL or something. You know, because we do put a lot of thought into those sometimes. You know, so let us know what you think. All right, I'm DeAnthony. Peace.